Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about another technique of handling feature engineering. So we are going to handle outliers. So from the graph itself, you can have a good sense that what we mean by outlier. So these are some distinct points that is completely different from this graph. So if you see all the points lie between this zone somewhere and this and these two are quite the outliers from it. If you still don't get a sense of what an outlier is, let me clarify it for you. In statistics, an outlier is an observation point that is distance from the observation. So if you see the bunch of numbers, we have 32, 33, 36, 34, 3, 32, 33. So all of these are in the range of 30. So all of these lies in the range of 30 to 35 somewhere. So R is somewhere between 30, 35. And three bearers, it lies less than five. So that is an outlier to my data. Now, let's take an quite a real life example over here. Let's say you are in a Halloween party where the theme is to dress up as an Harry Potter character. So you have your friends who has been a Harry Potter, then some other character, then we have one more character over here. And you, whereas you have become just an anime character Saitama. So you are an outlier for that party as of now. So that is what we mean by an outlier. Let's look into the methods to find into outliers. Now we will not go much deeper into this because if you have gone through our statistics course, we have gone through these in very much deep with uh, much bigger examples. So uh, the methods namely are IQR that is the interquartile range, Z-score and DV-scan. The easiest way to find the outliers in your data set is using a box plot. So plotting a box plot is quite easy and we are going to look into our coding session how to create a box plot. But if you have gone through the statistics course what we have provided, you must have been known of what we mean by box plot. So box plot is something like this where it creates a range for that particular column and outside of that range whatever the data points are those are named as the outliers. So here is the IQR technique that we follow. So for the brief definition of it just follow up our statistics course to get what exactly we mean by IQR. So here is the graph of IQR if you are curious about. But this video is more about how to handle the outliers. So we have four ways. Drop the outlier records. In this, we will just delete them out. Then you can cap your outliers data. You can assign a new value that if you have gone through our missing data videos, then the same thing we are going to do. We are going to analyze which all outliers we have and we are going to assign them with a new value. Or else we can try out any transformation. Let's say a log transform log transform we have n number of transformation it's totally up to you you can go through a reading we are going to look into mostly in these three things now you may ask me just how much an outlier affects your analysis it totally depends not surprisingly on a few factors one factor is data set size in a large data set each individual point carries less weight so an outlier is less worrisome than the same data point would be in a smaller data set. Another consideration is how much of an outlier a point might be. That is just how far out of line with the rest of your data set a single point is. A point that is 10 times as large as your upper boundary will do more damage than a point that is twice as large. So what I mean by this is if there's a data point. so. This is a large data set. So let's take these are two data set. This is one large data set and this is a small data set. In this large data set, if we have a couple of points and in these points, we have an outlier and again some uh, points. So all of the data points are of same weighted. So this would be quite normalized. So this is not much of a worrisome, but in a smaller data set where we have less data and over here if we have a very big outlier then this will be much of a worrisome. Another point of consideration was how much out of a line a data is. So if this is the interquartile range 
and out of it let's say these are the ranges and out of it if there is a point over here which is let's say the average is somewhere age is 50 and an outlier might be where the age is 1000 so these are something that you should be considering and your data will be affected quite a lot so if we have 10 points and the 10 points are in the range of somewhere between 10 to 50 and let's say we have an outlier out of the 10 points one point is 1000 so all of the data set will be completely different the mean will be different the mean will be much larger even though the standard deviation will be quite good but the mean will be shifting to a lot so these changes a lot of information in your data set and this will affect your model a lot so let's jump into a Jupyter notebook and let's get a walkthrough of this session now for this video we are not going to have an hands-on perspective or a practical perspective why because if we code out each and every line of code then it will be taking a lot of time and the video will be very lengthy so what we have done is we have created a walkthrough and line by line we will simplify it for you so let's jump into our jupyter notebook in our next video